Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants Zoo. My name is Nissa and the mothers, I said they were taking time off. Nothing happened in the modding community for a while. And then we get the new DLC. They probably knew it was coming and they are just ready to get to work. All of the mods get updated really, really fast compared to previous uh, new uh, updates. And we are just ready to go so it's monday we are ready and i have three mods for you today and i actually want to take them one by one they are all made by leaf from leaf productions uh, you also know him here from youtube he both makes speed builds uh mod showcases and so on um and the first mod we have here and it's this this theme today is just things we are happy not to have because if you do not like the gates in the game this is what will happen with this mod uh, this one is the uh one for the glass uh, they'll run out here to the right i'm just gonna find barrier here it's the glass one and it's the only one that actually appears different uh, because it still has the glass pieces here which is kind of funny i feel I find it funny anyway. They'll have the glass pieces in there. Where I think this one is the one from wood. You see here. It's because I clicked them to each other. You can see then they think it should be the same. Uh, but the wooden one can also look like this. And then the uh, last one looked like this. As you can see. So these two appear differently. And you can of course go in here and just change the rest of the thingy to whatever you want to uh so in re reality these two will be the same so why would you not want a gate well maybe you want to build your own however if you build your own this gives you the opportunity for instance to i take the easy route today go in here just pick a door uh-huh there and place a door now this isn't the prettiest door i ever seen but you can put in a door here instead if you want to uh, you can also of course build your own or what you want the thing is though it probably won't open beside these glass pieces they will probably open um so it's either you want it or you don't want it uh, you can't it's not like you can pick for instance, when you go into here, you can pick like, I want this to appear that way. I want this to be the regular. You can't do that. It's either or. And it is this mud called null gate. Uh, habitat gate. That's the important part. Null habitat gate by leaf. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's these three gates. It is, however... Sorry. Sorry, so sorry, sorry. I'm just... These three. You can see the mud here. Um, but again, it's only these three gates. You don't get anything more. It's not a big mud. It will just be there uh, in the background working as it should. It is a Axie mud. So, of course, you will also need to download Axie. Uh, sorry. I just Yeah, my internet is making issues today. Axie is here. However, if you want mod in Planet Zoo, I recommend your first mod will always be my XE because X a lot of the mods in Planet Zoo need XE to work. Um, so just start there. It It's not something you need to do anything with, but you just put it in there like you do the rest of them. And it just sit in the background and doing its thing to make sure everything else works. It's that's what it, what it should and nothing else. So you shouldn't be a wor worry about that. Um, the only thing is though... Sorry, I just... Too many buttons. Too many buttons. Alright, they don't work on the smaller ones here. And I think it's because it's a older mod just been updated. But uh, these aren't in. Maybe, maybe. I can't promise you anything. But maybe leave plan to go in and do these two at a point um i would like to again have the opportunity to pick that i want this to remain i want this to change for instance uh then the other mod is guest habitat null gates so it's the same idea this is just the guest one this one over here so the guest will get through this 
I would think a little more about using this than the others because you don't normally sit and watch the keepers go in and out through these. You see the guests a lot go through these, but it's... It, yeah, if you care much about you want to see them open and close, then you shouldn't get this one. But if it's just like... Same deal, you don't care about, you just want a prettier door, a different door maybe, then this is perfect. Um, for instance, I did in my Luca family zoo, I made these beautiful indoor a tropical house with uh, three apartments and these do normal doors just looks clumsy so in that zoo it would have made ton of sense to use this however in other places it will not make sense to do it so i think it's a very individual thing and it is again too many buttons this one um now he have used the middle wall here in between, so it will look a little different. You will still have the wood uh, thingies there. I don't think you can change that. I can't try, just... Uh, because if I do this and then say I want this to be uh, one of these, yeah, then you can't make it disappear that way. So you can make it disappear, but uh, when you place it down, it will come with these. Uh, it doesn't affect these three. Which makes sense. Again, when you're driving in with a car, you really need them to open and such. Um, and, and and this is the kind of gate you want to look clumsy because it's probably into an animal where you need these bigger walls and such. So that's perfect. Then we have another null thing and it's not the gate. And it's this. This is not something I built. This is actually a exhibit box with the um, thingy here. Uh, Amazonian giant citipid. And I thought I had done something wrong. I actually thought I did. Um, so what I did was I went into facilities, found my normal box. You can see down here, it's the normal one. And then it's gone. It's gone. So I placed it down. It's still done. Uh, if you forget where it is, you can see the grass around changes. Besides that, you don't really have a chance. So you're going to go into a... So you're not going to go too far away. So I'm going to keep it here where I can keep an eye on it. I find whatever we want to. We want to use the axolotl. We buy one. We drop it in there. And you can see here, we need to actually hit the box. And here it is. So the water actually have something that the tropical doesn't. Uh, with these corner things, which I'm not sure I like, but I'm not sure. Maybe it has something to do about what how they did it. Um, this one has this weird thingy on the button, uh, but they're still floating. Both of them. Oh, sorry. Where this one has like this. But the funny thing is, you can actually see some of the things, even though they are built from frontier to be in here. They're still built a little too long. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, so why would you want this? Well, I would want them to, for instance, having a um, something I built. Sometimes when I build um, with the normal one and I take a piece of wall. I'm going to take one meter. This should be in. Oh, that's not a, this this one. Now, this, of course, isn't tall enough for the water, but it's tall enough over here. If I drop out of that and go into this, yeah. If I do this, it looks perfectly. If the box is there, first of all, I need to move my wall to out here instead. Which, again, some of us like, some of us doesn't like. Uh, if you place them in here, still, you will place it, as you can see here. You will have a mid, um, a little midpoint in between here. But it's not enough that you will notice, unless you actually look for it. Um, but you will cover some of it here, so you risk that some of the animal may be halfway in through the wall at some point. But you would have to uh, put them out here, and you have to make sure that they turn the right way all the time so it covers it 
And depending on the animal, you may not ha want this to be a tall box. Maybe you just want it to be something where you can look into. Um, depending on which animals is in there. We can try to drop down another one. Again. Here. And fine. I'm not that rehearsed in these animals. We could try. Well, spiders could definitely get out. So could snake. Turtles. But that's the water one you always see. Everything with water would probably stay down there. That's climber. That's a flyer and a flyer and a climber. Beetles. You're gonna try beetle. Well, that's the same. I don't want the same. Can I kill you again? Move to tree cinder. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that rehearsed in these. Um, but we can also try. What what do we know that's definitely a different biome? I think this is a desert biome, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So this could be cute, right? Uh, you still need a wall that the snake wouldn't be able to climb on, though. But it's kind of cute. And you can do totally your own uh, thing. I remember going to zoos as a kid. There was these, they weren't squares, but these like weird uh, shaped smaller habitats that you could just go to and just look down through uh, without glass. And the fact that it was without glass or fence or anything, you feel like you could literally just lean over the habitat. It means a lot for a kid that normally feel quite small. I was always I was the smallest in my class. I was a year older than most of the other students there. And I was still the smallest one. Um, so it was amazing just to be able to actually look down on something that way. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, again, I'm not here to tell you what to do with it. I'm just here to show you that you have um, things. Once again, the one meter will not look good over here. It's simply won't look good um but um actually what happens here i just want to see here yeah there but if i move it again oh there uh here you can see exactly how much it goes into the habitat uh if you place it like that again you can place it both ways that's up to you and what you want to do with it uh but you need like here I would say like you need a meter and a half, maybe two meters is too tall. Uh, but again, something with glass or something. Again, it don't doesn't need to be a grid item uh, or anything like that. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can make your own guest gate. You can make your own habitat gate. You can make your own boxes, which again, the customizableness of it is very much something some of us have been missing. You have all the time been able to like find a rock and do something with it here. You have been able to do that all the time, but this just gives you a little more opportunities uh, about it. And especially if you have like a certain ever tall building, then you may want to make it look like the snakes can climb like eight meter high instead of those standard four meters. Uh, guys, I kind of ended here like this was a long one, even though I thought this was five minutes. Um, You know, I can't stop talking. But these were three mods all made by Lee from Lee Production uh, or just his channel Lee. I can link his channel in. The I already have a link to one of his video in the uh, description, which is him uh, explaining how to install mods. So if you haven't tried that yet, watch his video because it's real good. Um, And yeah. You know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. We'll hope to see you again. Add in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.